Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. And um, I'm doing this quick video response in response to my how-to video on how to paracord wrap a DNA style uh, lanyard. And um, I had a few questions from people on how to uh, tie off the ends and just how to overall finish off uh, your lanyard that you make. And it, that's something I overlooked in the video. Um, so that's why I'm making this quick video response um, to just show you guys real quick on how to do this. It's really simple. All you're going to need is a uh, good sharp pair of scissors and a lighter, any kind of your choice. And um, I'm just using this as a demonstration. <clears throat> this uh, small little lanyard, say you're going to make, um, you know, a zipper pull. <laughs> Now, this is just a regular Cobra stitch. This isn't a DNA stitch, but it doesn't matter. You're going to use this and apply it to um, to all of your lanyards that you make, no matter what knot style. Now, pe some people do this differently. This is just how I do it. So you're going to take your good pair of scissors, and you're just going to cut it off. You're going to cut off the ends that you tie the lanyard with, level with uh, the lanyard. You've got frayed right there. You want to leave a little bit. That's probably a little bit more than you need, to be honest. All right, you're gonna take your lighter. And you're gonna burn it until you see it start to melt. And what I do is I just <clears throat> take the metal part of a Bic lighter and just kind of roll it over that. Let's see if I can focus. You see it's smooth and rounded off now. Now, now that will not come off. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side the other strand. Now, I do this with my hands sometimes. Um, it doesn't hurt me anymore, really, unless you get a piece of a burnt paracord stuck on you. But, see, it, it doesn't really hurt. If you do it fast, if, I mean, if you lay your thumb on it right after you burn it, it's going to hurt. But if you just do it real fast, you know, kind of smear it, um, it's okay. You can do whatever method you want. Some people use pliers. Some people use their lighters. Some people use the uh, metal part of their scissors to smooth it off. I just use my thumb most of the time, just because it's most convenient. But it doesn't really matter how you do it. All right, now you can leave it just like this if you want. But as somebody mentioned, if you use this, I mentioned in my video, you can use your lanyard as a grab handle and use your keys as a flail for self-defense. But people are asking if, you know, they would fall off. Which, if you leave it like this, yeah, you can see the knot is uh, sliding around on the uh, piece of paracord that is uh, going to be attached to, you know, your knife, your keys, your uh, zipper, whatever. So, <clears throat> some people like to leave those as a deck, like a decoration. Uh, I do not. So what you're going to do is you're going to snip both pieces off level with uh, the lanyard. Just like that. And you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to uh, heat it up with your lighter until it starts melting down. And just smear. Now you you don't really want to do this until the uh, the paracord catches on fire because it is made of nylon, so uh, it will catch on fire and uh, stay burned and it'll keep burning because it's like a form of plastic. So you don't want to heat it up that long. Let me zoom in on that. And it's melted. So. This will not pull off. I'm pulling almost as hard as I possibly can, and it's not pulling off because it is actually the green, the lime green part is now fused together with the OD green part, and it's not going to come off. Especially, especially if you were to leave a little bit of extra, because keep in mind what excess you have after you cut it off. Is going to be melted down. So if you want to leave a little bit of excess at the top, melt it. You could possibly smear that over the entire bottom end, and you'll get a really, um, a really secure melted end. So you could have tied that off as a decorative knot, like a, a button knot. Um, I'll do a separate video on that, how to do that. Some people have asked me how to do the button knots, so might do that in the future. But yeah, that's how you uh, finish up a uh, paracord lanyard project. Like I said, you use that and apply it to bracelets and uh, pretty much anything else. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Take care.